thing. I, I just, can I just, can I just waffle? I'm just going to waffle. Um, so I started that way and I'm going to finish that way. Um, going on the strike marches, the first day I went, I went down to meet Beth Schwartz and um, Jerry McCarver was there. It was so nice. Then the next day I went, I think I went with Bob Behrens and Jenny Klein and Ben Edlund were there. And then the next time we went, at Kripke was there. And it's um, truly been obviously terrible in that it's very clear the priorities of the certain money people in charge of things. The priorities are very clear. But how wonderful that um, we all got to connect so much and there was so much love and support and so much support from fans and everyone and it's actually been some of the most uplifting experiences I've had this year even though it's from a very difficult thing and people are losing their health insurance and that's what we're really fighting for those kind of things but it's been a wonderful time to connect with people who you know you've worked with whatever capacity that doesn't answer your question i just wanted to say that after putting my foot in it <laughs> Um, it's sometimes the kind of backhanded compliments <laughs> that are kind of that are kind of funny, and I just think humour is always the way through. The only other time, uh, the only time I ever got a little bit serious for me, and it's hard to talk about it because it's all in context of a certain show, but. Um, how do I say this without saying it? I one time got draw I got drawn into a discussion on a social media platform and it, it seemed to escalate quite quickly. And it's a tricky thing to navigate sometimes. Um, and I'm fairly diplomatic, I think. And so I got really thrown by the fact that my diplomacy was not landing. My diplomacy was misfiring. And eventually I just blocked the shit out of 10 people. <laughs> because sometimes that's what you have to do. You don't have to let all that stuff in. You're human too. And and you, you can always disagree, I love. And one of my favorite things to do is in the green room and we're having a discussion and we have something that's slightly different politics. And then um, I love not having the same opinion, but being able to discuss things and stay relational and agree to disagree. And I think at best, our fandom does that. It has people on both sides of the aisle Right, often, and somehow we meet in the middle, and I think that's the way forward with everything. So, in answer to circle back around to your question, I think humor, humor is important, and having just at some point going, not I don't have to let this in, but what I will say is, all of that stuff, the difficult stuff, is like point zero zero one percent, really, and I feel really fortunate that I've had so much positivity and positive affirmation and it especially gives me joy when people say things to me like I really hated you at first <laughs> now I like you and I'm like <laughs> it's like you've got to have a sense of humour I think ultimately and realise it's not rocket science that you're doing and that you're in a really fortunate position that anybody who cares to discuss you at all is what I would say. Did, that, did I actually answer your question? Yeah, you did. Um, just taking forward from that, blocking the shit out of people. Blocking the shit out of people is a good one. I had, I'd never done it before. I'd never done it, and I was like, oh, this button exists for a reason. It's empowering. It was. Because sometimes it needs to be that strong a boundary, because you can rationalize, you can. Especially not over a social media platform at times, it's almost impossible. Once, one time I had a really cool discussion with a guy who lived in a completely different part of America and he did some kind of manual trade 
and he said something about actresses in Los Angeles being out of touch. And I, I said to him, you know, it's only you know, two or three years ago that I was earning $13 a night if I went on stage as an understudy. Um, like, I grew up on a farm, I've been a barista, <laughs> I've, had to, I've done so many different jobs up to this point and maybe I'm not so removed as you might imagine. And we actually had a discussion and in fans, some fans kind of came to my rescue more than I needed them to, you know, like, which I really appreciated. But by the end of the conversation, he was like, oh, oh th thank you for explaining. Thank you for taking the time. And I did it, I really tried to do it whilst honoring his point of view because I really understand what that is to work really hard for a wage per hour and then see something online that somebody says some you know, politically correct thing or PC thing that's annoying. And I think, yeah, I, sometimes I think those kind of discussions are really valuable, but it's tricky, isn't it, on social media? It's real tricky. And sometimes you just want to say this smart ass thing. <laughs> it blows up in your face. Anyway. Are you all still awake? Yeah. Do you have any questions? Do you want to ask any questions? No. If you'd like to go into the room. How are you? What's your name? Where's your name? Hi. My name is Jason. I'm from Maryland. Hello. Hi. Um. Okay, I'm not going to bite you. I'm not going to bite you. Were you ever pranked by J2? And if so, what was it? And if you weren't, what was your favorite prank that they have played on someone? <laughs> or that I played on them? It's, it, who is under 16 in the room? <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> under 16. <laughs> God bless you, you're not under 16. I love you. Um, so, I come from a theatre background, and the thing about theatre is you just, the show must go on, you just keep going. So, do you remember a scene where I was sitting in handcuffs, in a chair, and Jordan and Jensen were in the other, they were part of the scene, and they had a bag of my stuff, and I don't know, the camera was on me. They opened this bag of stuff, and I've never said this out loud at a convention before, but I'm going to say it now because why not? Um, this is for you, Krista. The, um, Janet walked to towards me with a gigantic black sex toy. <laughs> it was something of like industrial high school. <laughs> and I just finished the scene. And you know, you know the drill. So I one time walked into a scene holding a gigantic little loop, and Jared and Jensen just finished the scene. They just looked at me, and Misha blessed him. Bless him. He saved the joke, which I felt I was dying on my arse standing there. So I, the camera was behind me, and I was holding it here, like you can see from behind. And um, Misha just went, Well, I know what to do with this, and just scooped me up in his arms and carried me off. <laughs> Thank you for your question. <laughs> I've never told the truth about that before. First time for everything. Hello. Hello. Hi. So, a friend of mine and I were discussing accents last night. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, we were wondering if you find a lot of that you live here in the US, um, if you find your accent slipping. Uh, so, if I like do a, I was going to say Skype, but Skype, Zoom or whatever it is. If I do a Zoom home and like 
or even just a sound. It's more my cadence, because I speak more slowly here to be understood. But like, I remember quite early on just saying something. My stepbrother was on the, the, the video screen with my nieces and uh, nephews. And um, I said something he was like, how oh, is that song? <laughs> and I was like, I did not think, like, I did not think I had American accent. But then, like, just in the green room there just now, I said something like, oh, you have a good leather. And like, five American men on this web, what? Well, the leather, you have a good leather. And then we had this whole discussion about the difference between leather and blather. Like, a blatherer is someone who just talks shit. It's really foul mouth today. I'm sorry for something as well. The Lord's um, But, um, so yeah, so I still, those words are still in there, like the Scottish words are. There was not another word I was going to use other than leather. It just wasn't. But I do say things like gas rather than petrol. And I say water because it's the craziest thing. 